Hi and welcome back to a boat called Wonder. So thank you very much for the comments last week in regards to how I might be able to um, fill up that roll of fiberglass mat that I'm using to um, stuff down the cavity in that tow rail. So I've got a couple of good ideas that I'd like to uh, look at more deeply. Um, the first was to use some hardwood to, um, I guess, cut out a piece of hardwood that will fill that cavity and then bed that down. And um, that's, that's a good idea because I think the hardwood would be easy to work with and easy to get a thick piece to fill that cavity. Um, I think the only problem I've got with that is um, just from the experience of pulling up all the old pliers, having wood um, in a core in any way in case water starts to go down there is, is perhaps not ideal. Um, the other idea was to use some just very, very thick epoxy to try and wrap the, the cloth around that. So I think I might try that this time around because I've got two more to do and see how that works. Um, but first up, let's go up and take the clamp off that one that I did last week and see how that's set. Okay, so here we are. This is the one that I did last week. And for this one, I just cut some long strips of mat and wet that out and sort of put that in the middle and, and wrapped the cloth around. But let's see how this is cured. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was put some packing tape around this in case any epoxy got down here and stuck it together. Sure enough, it's wedged on, so that's a bit of a bummer. I need to knock this off. Okay, so there we go, and uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's clamped together nicely, and it's back to about 45 millimetres. It was about um, 49, so it's been brought in by four millimetres, and it feels relatively even. Um, just moving my hands along this tow rail. So I'll need to um, put some more filler on this to try and bring it up to the top here, and maybe wrap a piece of tape around that. Okay, that's one down. I've got two more to go, but um, so far so good. Oh, it's sharp though. Need to sand that down. Right, it's time to get back into this boat repair business. I've actually been away again. I had a break in uh, Porto in Portugal for four days, which was absolutely lovely. Um, but I keep on sort of finding myself away from what I'm meant to be doing at the moment, which is boat repair. So let me just go back to that um, task of filling up that um, tow rail cavity with material for the stanchion base. Now I've put all three of those in there and they're all sort of done and drying, or there's one drying at the moment. Um, I experimented with using some thickened epoxy to roll it around, but basically the best thing that I found was the first one I did, whereby I just cut about five long thin strips of material and layered them on top of each other to make kind of like a little middle piece and then rolled it around that. So that worked out to be the best. But let me show you what I'm up to now. Okay, so this is what I'm up to now with this, um, this tow rail cavity. So as you can see here, I've got the rolled up material in there. And what I want to do now is build up this level to a nice flat edge so that I can eventually put some fiberglass tape over it. So I've just got a couple of pieces of thin plastic with some packing tape over it to prevent it from sticking to the resin. And I've taped that to the side to try and get the profile, which is kind of a little bit like that. And the next step, I'm going to mix up some thickened epoxy and um, just fill up the top here. Probably needs to be about six or seven mils high just to um, go over the top of this rolled up piece of uh, cloth and um, create a flat level. So I'll just go mix up some epoxy, I'll thicken it with some 404 high density filler and then come back and drop that in there. Right, I'm back again. I've got my uh, thickened epoxy here and I've tried to sort of keep it fairly runny so that I can let gravity do its work and try and get it to sort of level out properly. Let's see how it goes. Okay, well I'll let that um, cure, come back and see what it's like. Right, well it's been a few days since I put this um, hardened epoxy over the top of this. So it's time to um, take this off and see what it looks like. A little bit stuck, despite all my packing tape, but should come off with a little bit of coaxing. There we go. 
Uh, this side seems a little... oh there we go, perfect. Let's come off. Okay, so what I have here is a nice profile where the sides are sort of beveled in like this and they follow the natural contour of this uh, deck to hole join. So the next steps for this is to uh, get my belt sander and just sort of level out this, uh, these ridges at the side. And then I think I'll put a piece of fiberglass tape over the whole um, tie rail end here, which again is the deck to hull join, just to sort of, you know, belt braces approach to make sure this seam doesn't open up. So essentially we've got the hull, which comes up on the outside like this, and then we've got the deck, which comes up like that, and the deck sits down and that cavity is filled up. And then on the outside here, which is this part, here, there's the seam where that uh, join is here, and that's originally got a little bit of tape over this, I think, but of course with all this work I've done, I've, I've sanded through that tape, so, um, so yeah, I think that's what I'll do to this next, but uh, that's pretty good, like it's good enough shape to get me started. Okay, so I've ground back the gel coat on this side and uh, this side of the tow rail, so I've got a nice section here for me to wrap some tape around. I've got some 450 GSM tape that I can try out. So I've just got some tracing paper here stuck down and I'm going to mark out the pattern for the piece that I need to cut because I want it to fit in this, um, this cutout section that I've made here quite snugly. Okay, so that's my piece. There, if you can see that outline. I'll go down and cut that up now, get my epoxy ready and, uh, and set this up. Right, here's my epoxy and my cloth, which is ready to go. So let's, uh, let's do this. No problems of things going off too quickly today because it's pretty cold. I need to try and be pretty neat with this because I don't want runs everywhere. Okay, so that's all done. That seemed to work out okay. The 600 um, is a biaxial as well, so it doesn't have so many different uh, directions of thread, so it's probably a little bit easier to go around corners than, say, a tri or a quad. But anyway, that 600 uh, GSM seemed to be pliable enough to get around that, um, that corner, so that's all uh, done up and, and set with some pill ply. Leave that for a couple of days and come back and have a look at that. So uh, let me show you what else I've been working on. Well this is what I'm up to uh, with this side deck. I've just been chipping away at this for weeks actually, just um, fairing it and sanding it and fairing it and sanding it. And um, this is where I'm at. It's almost done, almost done. I've just got that last part to do there. And then probably one more skim with a sort of attempt to get this curve done, coming back this way. So, so far all of the skim that's been done has been using a long board to try and get it uh, relatively straight, sort of going this way. And now I need to make sure I've got that right camber coming along fore and aft. So that's the next sort of skimming I need to do. On the port side there's still a lot of work to do. This was the first sort of attempt I did to fare it and it needs to be redone, it's just not, um, not good enough. So yeah, a lot more of this sort of fairing work to be done which is painstaking to say the least. 
So you might have picked up by the, the frequency of uploads, I guess, that I'm making that, um, yeah, the project's kind of like floundering a little bit. I've had, uh, I've had quite a lot to deal with. I've got some unexpected tax issues that have come up out of nowhere, and that's been of a real concern. Uh, I need to go back to work soon, as soon as I can, actually. This has been probably nine months without uh, any income, and um, I'm getting to the end of that point where I can sort of continue like that. I guess it's really all the fairing that I've, I've been doing. Um, the, it's really slow going and you're just sort of plugging away. You can't really see a lot of progress. And I guess I feel like the project's just become this sort of massive elephant that um, I, can't, I can't eat. It's too much to take on. Um, so I've sort of made this, a decision that I need to sort of get Wanda finished to a level where at least I can get her out of the shed and perhaps go back to working on her weekends just to finish the rest off. So I've just had um, a quote this week by a um, professional boatyard that will um, potentially paint Wanda. So do all the top sides, paint the deck, do non-skid on the deck, and do the coach roof and superstructure and cockpit. Um, now, I was always going to get somebody to do the top sides. Before, I had some ambitions of doing the deck myself with some non-skid. Um, but realistically, um, it's just going to take too long and there's a risk that, you know, if I can't get this project finished that Wanda's just going to sit at the back of a boat yard like so many other sort of half-finished projects you see. Um, so yeah, I really need to move this into the stage of actually having a boat that's near complete and then I can just chip away and do all the electronics, pull the engine, do the interior. Um, but the hull itself, I, I just need to get this finished. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, sorry the videos have been a little bit uh, slowed down and, and less frequent, and uh, it's just a reflection that um, I'm sort of struggling a little bit to get this finished, and the last few weeks haven't been that much fun. So anyway, the pressure's on now, because basically I need to get all of the deck finished, fed, um, ready to get it painted. I can't have Wanda sent up there and then have them coming around and doing more fairing and filling up cracks and things. It'll just, it'll blow the budget. So the quote we have is um, based on the fact that Wanda will be sent to them and all they'll need to do is get the, uh, the, the primers out and, and get her ready for painting. So I'm going to have a really busy sort of three to four weeks coming up to just get all of this done. So um, the next update, I need to have all the deck fared. The update after that, I need to have the top um, layer of fiberglass done, and the week after that, I'll be looking to have um, you know all the hardware off and, and have it ready to be uh, painted. So that's where I'm at. Um, thank you for watching, and thanks for all the comments that you've put in recently. Um, don't give up on me, or don't give up on this project. It will get done. Um, it's just going to uh, change direction, I think. So uh, come back and see me next week. Thanks for watching. See you then.